Hello and welcome to what is our first video for a new channel that we're starting on YouTube. It's going to be called Office Hours and the idea is to give you, the member of the public, an insight into a modern research lab. So my name is David Hughes and I'm an assistant professor of entomology and biology at Penn State University. And so as a professor at a large university like Penn State, I have a couple of roles. The first is as a researcher, so we're going to see behind the scenes of some of the activities we have in the lab, and this is going to happen over a number of weeks. My other role is as a professor, I teach classes. And as a professor, we often have something called office hours, where students come in to discuss topics. And we're going to try and duplicate the similar process here. We're going to have you guys asking questions on a range of topics surrounding the stuff that we study. And that ranges from disease in ant societies to complexity in Amazonian rainforests to applied research where we're trying to help smallholder farmers throughout the world. So we'll take a walk through the lab and then also see the other members of the group. So we're fortunate in occupying a very large space called the Millennium Science Complex, which is um, a quarter billion dollar building, which brings together life sciences and material sciences in one space. And so up here is the computational area where we house postdocs and graduate students. And so we're gonna walk into our, our space here where we have graduate students who have a range of topics. And over the coming weeks, we're going to get into some of these. So, so Lauren, for example, studies epidemics in ant societies, and Raquel is looking at um, multiple scales of interaction between parasites and hosts. Maridel is working at the interface between the fungus, which is controlling the animal's behavior, and the muscles, which are being affected. Kelsey's working on this large project we have, which is plant village. Megan is working on enabling smallholder farmers around the world to do better jobs and get a better return on resources. And Andreas is one of our postdocs who's also working on disease dynamics in ant societies. And now we'll go through the rest of the building and show you our lab. So now we get downstairs where we have all the labs um, and we have a lot of shared open facilities. So what that means is that multiple principal investigators, that is the leader of the labs, multiple principal investigators come together and share resources. Uh, they occupy a common space. And the benefit of that is that they also have this opportunity to share ideas. So we're gonna walk into a large open access lab, which is about 13 and a half thousand square feet. And it's housing about five principal investigators who work uh, not necessarily collectively, but there's a lot of exchange of ideas. And so we'll come into our space here. Uh, we're studying ants and here's uh, other, other students in our group like Shin Shan or over there is Joao. Um, one of the things that we benefit an, an, an awful lot from is the participation of undergraduates in our research. So, so Ryan is our lab manager and then we have a range of undergrads at Penn State University who work for credits analyzing video behavior of ants. And uh, over the course of these videos, we're going to look into that and see that. So this is our first video. We're going to do it every two weeks. We're going to try to involve uh, students in this K through 12 we're looking for questions if you have any burning questions about how societies evolve and societies in general disease smallholder farmers get back to us email us some uh, questions click on the link and we look forward to engaging with you at offers hours over the coming weeks thank you